Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Military Cash. Since the Second World War, the United States, Russia, and China and a host of other nations have lost vessels and their crews to accidents. Operating submarines is a risky business under the best of circumstances and will likely remain so. Even the highest technology nuclear submarines can end up on the ocean floor if the crew isn't careful or the technology fails. Here are some of the worst submarine disasters of the past several decades. Kursk Perhaps the worst submarine disaster in recent memory was Russia's loss of K-141, Kursk, which was an anti-E-class nuclear-powered guided missile submarine in August 12, 2000. Kursk's wreckage was eventually recovered and the accident was ultimately traced to the Type 65-76A torpedo. Though the weapon is powerful enough to destroy an aircraft carrier with a single hit, the Soviet Union inexplicably designed the torpedo to run on hydrogen peroxide fuel, which is highly volatile and requires careful handling. Unfortunately for Kursk's crew, they apparently had neither the training nor the experience to handle those weapons. After the Kursk disaster, the Russian Navy removed hydrogen peroxide fueled torpedoes from service. Komsomolets K-278 Komsomolets was the only boat of the Plavnik class ever completed. Designed primarily as a test bed for new technologies, the 8,000-ton Komsomolets was one of the highest performance submarines ever built, it had an operating depth greater than 3,000 feet. Plavnik class was designed to test automation technologies and perfect the Soviet Union's ability to build titanium pressure hulls. The submarine sank on April 7, 1989, after a fire broke out on board. The fire set off a chain of events that ultimately caused the boat to sink. Despite the heroic efforts of the crew, 42 of the 69 crew members were killed during the accident. However, only four people died as a direct result of the fire the rest died from exposure. More of the crew might have been saved if the Soviet Navy had acted more quickly to mount a rescue operation. Meanwhile, Komsomolets's nuclear reactor and its two nuclear warheads remain on board the stricken hull under 5,500 feet of water in the Barents Sea. K8 K-8 was a Project 627A kit-class nuclear-powered attack submarine that sank after a fire in April 12, 1970. The submarine had originally caught fire on April 8, 1970, during an exercise in two separate compartments. The fire apparently started as a result of oil coming into contact with the air regeneration system. After the fire spread throughout the boat via the air conditioning system and the reactors shut down, the captain ordered the crew to abandon ship. The crew boarded the submarine again after a rescue vessel arrived. But eventually the submarine sank in heavy seas while under tow with 52 members of its crew. USS Scorpion, SSN 589 while Russia and the Soviet Union have had their fair share of submarine disasters, the United States Navy has lost submarines too. On May 22, 1969, the USS Scorpion, a Skipyak-class attack submarine, was lost with all hands 400 miles southwest of the Azores Islands. There were 99 sailors on board. It is still a mystery as to what exactly happened to Scorpion, the boat simply failed to return to port on May 27 that year. The Navy launched a search, but eventually declared it lost on June 5. Eventually, Scorpion was located under 10,000 feet of water by a Navy research ship later that year. USS Thresher, SSN 593 USS Thresher sank on April 10, 1963, with 129 sailors on board. It was the first nuclear submarine disaster, and to this day, has the highest death toll. Unlike with Scorpion, the US Navy has reported exactly what caused Thresher to sink poor quality control. The submarine sank while it was conducting a dive to its test depth of about 1,300 feet. 
Five minutes prior to losing contact with the vessel, the submarine rescue ship Skylark received a garbled UQC transmission that said Thresher was having some minor technical difficulty. Skylark continued to receive garbled messages until the sonar picked up the sound of Thresher imploding. As the boat's engine room flooded as a result, salt water spray shut down the nuclear reactor. Subsequently, Thresher's main ballast tank failed to blow after ice formed in its piping. The crew was unable to access the equipment needed to stop the flooding. A Navy Court of Inquiry found that a piping failure probably caused the accident. If you have feedback, please comment below. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.